There are three what we call third generation aromatase inhibitors. That's the, 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 the current you know, drugs that are approved that we use regularly. Um, they are anastrozole or arimidex, letrozole, which is also called Femara, and exemestane, which is also called aromacin. There are some slight differences. Exemestane is a bit more different in terms of its structure than the other two, but we've tested all three of them. They seem to have similar uh, what we call efficacy, reductions in recurrences and deaths or in metastatic disease responses and prolongation of life. They seem to have the same benefits, and their toxicities really are, are quite similar. We've head-on compared some of them in trials, so they're, they're in the same trial. We're collecting the toxicities and the recurrences at the same, and they really uh, are very similar. So I don't distinguish uh, between the three in terms of telling a patient one is better than another. Um, uh, what is important for many patients is what the cost is frankly. And we have this new concept of what we call financial toxicity, and I think we, we really need to pay attention to it. All three of the aromatase inhibitors that are FDA approved uh, are have gone generic. They're off patent now. Um, anastrozole or arimidex went off patent first, so we had more generics come on the market, and that lowered the price faster. But now we have generics for all three. So most of the time, I'm uh, making choices based on does a given patient's insurance cover this specific drug, and what would the copay be for the patient? Because I really think, uh, in most ways, they're fairly interchangeable. Sometimes I have a patient who's having a lot of joint aches or trouble with an aromatase inhibitor, and we let a little washout happen and switch to another aromatase inhibitor. Sometimes they think that the one we switch to is better, but it seems to go in all directions, and there's not necessarily one that is best with side effects. They have similar side effects of, of joint aches and hot flashes and vaginal dryness across the three.